So I would say just the first thing off the bat is if you find something you're passionate about and you can pursue it, it's great. And someone told me that sort of the key to success is if you sort of get three circles, something that you're good at, something that you can do well, and something we can make money at, uh, that's where you should be. As our organization gets large, it's like a big ship. It's my job to try to steer it and turn it around because we can't just do what we've been doing. We always got to do better and different. I have to get people to change, and that's the hardest thing. And so I got to get everyone to not just put Sterno out, but put it, make sure they always have a container. Um, and so, sort of making sure we're not doing the same thing we've been doing, repeating mistakes, is um, you know. Is you you also, as the example that Sterno shows. You don't just sit in the home office, you come out and you work oh, events yeah. and Jeff has come and worked weddings here even though he's the boss because I guess because I keep you, you enjoy it. You I said enjoy you had fun. It. I do like it. And it keeps you in touch with Yeah, I need to on. see what's going on. So here's the bean plant. See the bean plants? Yes. Yeah. They have beans on them. They're actually really nice plants. It's just that it's tough this time of year because there are, like our to-do list for today has like 200 things on it. Like you just can't. <laughs> There's so much we could do. So you have to be strategic and you have to do jobs quickly. We say thorough and quick. Because you don't want to do a job really good but do it super slow, because that's not that productive. And you don't want to do a job super fast but do a half-assed job. So you want to try to do both. You want to try to do it well and you want to try to do it quick. Do I put a bean on? We ask people to work hard. We ask them to be a member of the team. We look for teamwork. We always say our values are teamwork, humor, because you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta it's, it's, it's hard work. You gotta crack a joke once in a while and keep people laughing, and that really helps ease the tension. Uh, we also talk about integrity, growth. Uh, we, I feel it's important for the company to grow. We want to give opportunities to our staff. And nobody wants to be in a company that's going down. <laughs> you're either going up or you're going down. As a business, you gotta make progress. So growth is critical. We like our people to have a growth mindset. So that's one of our values. Uh, and then sustainability is our last one that we just really recently added a year or so ago. And sustainability, I mean, I guess I originally thought about sort of the planet, right? Like the planet's cooking. That's not very sustainable if we keep burning fossil fuel, we keep, you know, burning gas and, and, and um, coal. It's going to completely pollute the, the ocean, the skies. But sustainability is important. But I think sustainability, um, in terms of the company, we want to, you know, um, make investments that will keep our business going in the long term. We want to live our values because I think those are sustainable. So we try to say to ourselves, is this something that's going to be a good investment or a good decision long term, five or 10 years? Is this a good thing to be doing? Not just is it good today, but is it good in five or 10 or 15 years? I think what really is interesting about this industry is all the different pieces that come into it and all the different ways that you can make careers that relate to food and hospitality. Danielle here is a wedding planner. <laughs> we have 50 wedding planners. So a football field is based, is close to 43,000 square feet. Okay? So this field here is about a quarter of an acre. Just from all, all the way over to that white, those white flowers. Um, and this is two of your guys' favorite crops. This is broccoli. <laughs> Not heading up yet. So the broccoli grows on the inside. Here, here's a baby it's one. It's so bro. thick. Just yeah, for baby one. So the broccoli itself is like a little seed head, a flowering head. So I think what's kind of interesting about the business, the kind of business that Jeff runs, and how he connects with us and with the farm is that it sort of shows that there's so many things around food. You know, the growing of food, the distribution of food, the consumption of food that um, are important to our lives and our health, but also um, to the whole economy. And, I, you know, there's some really good opportunities in the field from, you know, getting to know Jeff and getting to know the people that work for him who are great people.